I should give Nigeria some credit, you say? No problem, let's just go check it out first. Alright guys, so I just got to the local airport and we're about to see how everything turns out. Hopefully it's good as he says it is and if it's not, you guys will be the judge of that. And if you just joined my channel for the first time, I am the Desire and I will travel and lifestyle brand. Without further ado, let's get straight into it, shall we? to note before we go is this place that i'm in right now this is the car park multi-level car park where anybody with a car basically can park in the facility and i think it has four floors and you pay after you stay for a specific period of time so that's one i'm not sure if the international airport doesn't have that they don't have a multi level car park that i know of yet so that's one so there is this walkway that links you from the car park to the airport and you can also use a lift so you can always just climb down but the walkway that leads you from this particular place to the airport is an easy way for a pedestrian or for anybody that parks here to, to easily basically get into the airport. That's two. Let's see what the others are. So we're starting with the female toilet in the car park and this is what it looks like. It's just for one person to use. It's not so bad, but it's not good either because it smells one, two, just one bathroom. Really, if I had, if there were like five people in this particular that needed to use the toilet, this is all I'm going to. I have to wait in line for five people's good numbers to so, nah, fam. Escalator does work, so thumbs up for that. So, one thing the lights don't work. I've noticed that only maybe a one quarter of the lights here are working, so one thing now. Okay guys, the bathroom looks pretty nice. It looks good. Only that the, there's no soap or there are no soaps in the container. And I'm not so sure about the soap that they left for us to use. And the water seems to be running, so thanks for that. And the toilet store flush is so good one. And the environment looks pretty neat and doesn't smell. Bathroom looking good, but the soap's not coming out. We don't have charging points, so I did not notice any like suitable charging points or like the ones I noticed in some international airports or local airports. In fact, it's one of the places I've traveled to, so some of these things can be improved on. There should be general charging points for everyone to be able to use instead of having to struggle. But I know it is literally something people actually do struggle for charging points when they are at um, a place whereby they don't know what to do or where to go to. Uh, what other thing? Yes, I noticed something good, which is the fact that you can you, 
can check in yourself apart from checking it on checking in online you can check in yourself on a self i don't know i'll just put it right here for you guys to see so yeah you can always check in yourself which gives ease to whoever it is that will be at the counter you can easily go in and come up basically i can see a lot more automation and technology being put in place mm -hmm. so what do you guys think if i remember any other thing i'll let you know but right now i think that's all yeah if i have anything to say i will put it in the description box make sure you check it out and let's go back to the studio shall we yes so welcome back guys so what do you think of our mm2 also known as our domestic or local airport in lagos nigeria what do you guys think about it it's okay right it's pretty good but not perfect nothing is perfect uh, what do you think just leave it in the comment section below let's talk about it basically what i'm always preaching on this channel is improvement innovation and empowerment of the country empowerment of the people development and all that kind of fun stuff so i'm happy that you watched this video till this very minute if you enjoyed it don't forget to click the like button over there right there somewhere down there and um, share this video subscribe to my channel for more juicy videos on travels and lifestyle and you know you can always you know um what's the word you can always refer any content that you would want me to talk about on my channel in the comment section below and follow me on instagram and twitter at the fissile by the way <laughs> i just started a podcast so you can always check out my podcast on spotify anchor apple podcast and all that fun stuff it's called the big dreamers podcast yes i am your host the fissile so in the podcast i talk about my big dreams i share my big dreams with you and we also talk about it and i share with others and always and we find ways to see how we can overcome the limitations that come our way. So, you know, let's get talking and don't forget to subscribe, rate, and all that juicy fun stuff. You know, I'm just so excited talking to you guys. I didn't want to leave. But as usual, till next time, don't forget to stay awesome, stay inspired.